Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Like we talked about in the last video, there's now technology utilized in today's game to help develop hitters. It's a device that completely tracks what's going on with just the bat, and doesn't care about what goes on with the ball. And it does this by attaching a sensor to the knob at the end of the bat. From there, it's going to spit out a ton of different data points to help evaluate exactly what is happening on each swing. Now there are several different types of sensors like this, but in today's video we're going to jump into one specific kind that I am most familiar with, and that is blast motion. It's easy to be confused and overwhelmed with the number of data points being created from each swing, but in this video I'll hopefully give you a good place to start. Today's video will serve as an intro to blast motion. To begin with, I've already done a video on hitting technology used in today's game. So be sure to check that video out if you're interested in the other technology utilized in hitting. Links are going to be found down below in the description. But first, let's start out with the best place to learn all about Blast Motion. They have a great website with tons and tons of information on how to properly use their product. It's a great place to go if you're looking on how to get started with this tech or you're interested in investing in one for yourself, your child, your team. A link to their website will also be down in the description down below. To give you a brief overview of what you can find there, it'll consist of informational videos about what the metrics they've created mean, drills you can do to help improve your scores on important metrics, as well as tips from pro athletes like Carlos Correa and other coaches who use this product to help them train. It's a great resource, so be sure to check it out if you want to know more specific information about Blast after you're done here. With all that aside, in today's video, I'm going to give you a good starting place for what I look for when analyzing players on Blast. We can get more into the process of this later, but in today's video, I'll give you the top three metrics to use when analyzing hitters. These three metrics are rotational acceleration, your vertical bat angle, and attack angle, and your connection scores. Let's start with the rotational acceleration. This number is a measure of how quickly your barrel accelerates into the swing plane. This is the correct way you should work to increase bat speed. If this number is high, that means that that athlete is utilizing their big muscles from the ground up to create more bat speed, and not just pulling the bat across the zone with their hands during their swing. Then there's your vertical bat angle and your attack angle. Technically, these are two metrics, but they help paint a better picture of how the bat moves through the zone. This is a different metric because it actually varies on each pitch. You should have different angles depending on different pitch types and different locations, also depending on the level of play you're currently at. For now, here's a quick breakdown of where your vertical bat angle and your attack angle should be for each level of play. Your vertical bat angle is going to be how steep your barrel is at impact, while your attack angle is going to be how well you match the plane of the incoming pitch. Lastly is the connection score. This is how your bat moves relative to your body. It's measured at two points, early connection and then your connection at impact. This is a comparison of your bat angle compared to your spinal tilt. Both of these scores should be as close to 90 degrees as possible to make sure that you have a connected swing that stays on plane for the longest period of time. At the end of the day, hitting is hard. No matter what your score is here, or even if you have a perfect swing, it can be ruined by bad eyesight or poor decision making. The end goal of this technology is to help reduce your time to contact in order to give each hitter more time to make a better swing decision. Combining this with other metrics to make sure that the swing is on plane, generating its full potential of speed and power, is going to give the hitter their best opportunity to succeed. Alright guys, and that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions for a future video, and subscribe for more weekly baseball animations posted every Wednesday.